Jesus. The new year began. We started with the fast. Praise him. But you want to talk about my driest month ever. Jesus. I lost my grandfather that I was so dear to. I never had a chance to say goodbye to him nor how much I loved him. The last time I saw him, I believe it was Thanksgiving. And he died in jail. And I didn't even know he was born a day after. That's what threw me off. He was born, I believe, a week after my birthday. And I just, it messed my spirit up for really did. And in the middle of the fasting, I was like, God, you couldn't, you couldn't wait to take him away after the fast or something? Like, in the middle of my fast, I lost focus. And me to lose focus in a fast is, is kind of hard. So I just want you to understand how hard that hit me. And I began to come to church, but not be in church. I would sit on a pew. Not even a pew, because I would sit on the metal chair. And I was as cold as that chair. I would clap, raise my hands. I knew what I was supposed to do, but it didn't come from my heart. I put on the show. I came looking good, dressed up, or at least I think I came in looking good. And everybody thought Tina had it all together. Tina did not. Tina was asked to speak at the first youth service of 2010. That same Tina that you're looking at was battling a fight that I can't even put on words. Constantly, arrows hitting me, hitting me. It just got up to the point where I gave up. And there was this one night, I believe it was a youth service in February, and I came back home, and my mom was sleeping. And usually I check in with her and I tell her mom I'm home. And I usually go downstairs, crash, watch ESPN or something. But that night, my spirit was just pulled. And it was telling me, Tina, come back. Come back. Because I know that I have a promise. And when, see, when you have a problem, you just forget your promise. You're just like, God, what's going on here? You know, you told me I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. So then how come? Is this happening? And this person is doing this to me. This person doesn't like me even in the church. Why is this happening? And then I just went home and I fell on my mother. And I cried. And my mom, I'll tell you, she, she always knows when something's wrong with me. And it wasn't because I cried. Even when I would just walk around the house, she'd just look at me. Have you been reading your Bible? Have you been praying? My mom always checked up on me. And I always lied. Yeah, my <laughs> yeah. I read the book of Job today. <laughs> always lied. Always lied. But a straight face on And I think my mom knew. Because she'd be like, mm -hmm. all right. All right. Go to the dishes. And, but that night, she realized that I had finally broken through. And that night, I remember so vividly, I sat on my bed. And in my room, like, I want to paint you this picture. I have like jerseys up and my bed's like here and there's a drawer and there's like a little like L of green carpet and I just sat down and there's this poster that my mom got me when I was little, it's been in my room ever since and it was, it's called Don't Quit and I don't remember the exact words but it was like something you must not quit and I just kept rereading that and it was at that point where I realized that no matter what I did or anything, I couldn't quit. Because he never quit on me. He could have easily quit when he was getting whipped. It, it was, I don't even want to think about it honestly. But that night I thought about it. And I thought about the nails. And how me, so selfish of me, to sit there and mope around and say, I don't want to read my Bible. I don't want to pray. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And it was that night that I thought, how great is our God. And I played that song. And you can ask any one of my friends, you play How Great Is Our God. And I'm going to cry, and I'm going to raise my hands, because that is a song that truly delivered me. I can tell you that from the depth of my heart. And once you get that revelation of how great God is, you walk around 
You just want to constantly praise Him. Yes. Yes. Amen. Walking in my house, you know, my mom tells me, you're not allowed to play music in the house. I have my headset in, and I'll be listening to, to some Kirk Franklin or something. Because I just, I constantly want to be in that spirit. Because I know how it feels like to be dry and left out like a vacuum just come on, come on. me out. And so when I'm in church now and I do my little Holy Ghost jump or something, or I'll try to do a Jason but that doesn't work out. <laughs> and I do that, don't don't give me a weird look. Come on. How great thou art, O oh Lord my God. When I am also one, consider all the works I have done. I see the stars, I hear the roar. 